But from a, a day-to-day sort of grind for you, what, what, is that, what does that look like for you? Like you get up in the morning and, or, or you get up at, in the middle of the night as Curbs has been doing. Um, but what does that, um, that look like for you? It, honestly, it depends on the week. Mm-hmm. At the moment, so the last few days, it, I'll get up around half six, seven in the morning. Um, I will go for a walk. Uh, usually around a mile or two, uh, just around my local area, get some fresh air and get some steps in. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll get home, watch a couple of episodes of something on Netflix and play a video game whilst I eat some breakfast. Um, I, I play a bit of League of Legends nowadays mm-hmm. in my free time. So I'll play some of that whilst I'm watching some on Netflix and have some breakfast. Uh, then I'll grab a shower and stream in the morning. Um, I'll then probably end the stream in the afternoon, get some lunch um, and either make the video for the evening or have some free time. Uh, sometimes I'll go to the gym or I'll just, I'll just uh, spend it, you know, in, in, in the room, just kind of chilling. Uh, and then I'll probably go live again uh, in the evening time, see what EA drop at 6 p.m., make mm-hmm. a video on that. And, uh, and then I've got the, the night to myself again uh, to, to play games or to either if we go to the gym at the night time or to do whatever, really. Sure. Do you enjoy having the ability to make your own schedule? Like instead of being like when you were in school, you had a very set or like your first job that you mentioned, you had a, a set, like come work from this time to this time. Do you enjoy that more? It Honestly, yes and no. Um, I very much miss having a set routine because I think it gives a lot of discipline to, to the lifestyle that you live. Mm-hmm. And I, I'm a big fan of setting a routine and, and living by the same routine every day. Cause I like the, the positive kind of mental effect it has on you. Cause you know what you're doing every day and you know where you have to be. Um, but I also would not be able to go back to a job where I have to get up at the exact same time every day. And I have to be here at the exact same time because I've got to a point now where you know, if I, if I'm feeling tired, I'll go back to bed for half an hour or I'll, mm-hmm. if, you know, I can, I can delay doing this for 20 minutes if I'm, if I'm doing something, you know, like having the freedom to be able to change plans mm-hmm. is amazing. Um, but also, yeah, I do like having a routine, um, just because I like kind of knowing what I'm doing every day. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, that was sort of one of the things that when lockdown first started, when they didn't have to, they, their routines were changed. I think obviously besides the fact that they're all locked inside, I think that was one of the big things that, that really threw people, uh, threw people off, uh, at least initially. Um, but I know like working from home now, I'm able to kind of do the same thing that, that you are. Like if I know I don't have meetings, I'm able to go to the gym or, or go to training or, or something like that or mm-hmm. shift stuff around. So, I definitely enjoy it more as well because if I'm sitting in, in my office and I have a slow day, I'm just sitting there doing nothing. But mm-hmm. now I'm able to go off and do other things like this podcast, for instance. But mm-hmm. um, yeah, man, this, I think it takes a certain type of person to, to really thrive in an environment where you are totally fr- like you have the total freedom to do kind of whatever you want and you got to, you have to have the discipline to continue to make sure that you have a, a livelihood in, in both of our cases. So um, on to real life football, your Manchester United. Actually, before we get there, I saw on Twitter, I think you posted something that you, you've been at the gym a lot recently and you've lost, lost a bunch of weight. Is that? Yes. Yeah. Is that true? I've been on a fitness grind recently. Yeah. So first of all, congratulations. The second of all, um, how sort of how has that journey been for you? Um, not as hard as people make out when people say it is. To be b- completely honest and almost brutally honest, really, a lot of people don't take those steps because either they think it's a lot of work or they don't know how to start. And I think that. Um, one thing I've really kind of learned is that it honestly isn't that hard. Mm. I'm not out there running 10 miles a day and, and training like an athlete and eating, you know, a slice of bread every day. And that, you know, like I'm, I'm still eating normally as I ever, as I, I did, I'm just eating the right foods. You know, I'm, I'm still, I feel full every day and I don't go to bed hungry. You know, mm. I, and I'm not, I'm not 
you know, working myself into an early grave in the gym or anything like that. Like I'm, I'm doing workouts, but I, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling tired after it. So it honestly has been a lot easier than I thought. It's probably been one of the best things I've ever done because the physical and mental kind of effects that it has. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'd recommend it to anyone. Um, it also did help that, that the, my friend who is also my coach at the moment is it, it just, he, he seems to know everything about everything when it comes to fitness. Like he's, mm -hmm. he's doing it in university and he's, he's absolutely crazy when it comes to it. He's dedicated his entire life to training and bodybuilding and things like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's honestly, it's been one of the best things I've ever done. And if there's anyone listening that wants to get into it, it honestly, it's not hard. It really mm -hmm. isn't. What changes did you make to your lifestyle? uh i stopped having takeaways and fast food that was that was definitely the biggest one um the problem is all the food that's the best tasting food is terrible for you yeah they, they get that's how they get you so um it was it was mainly kind of figuring out what foods taste good that are also that have a good macro split and that are also mm -hmm. low in calories um that was the main one and then it was also just getting the energy and the the time to go to the gym, you know, and not putting it off and getting out and, you know, getting a walk in, getting some steps in. Um, that was the main, the main kind of lifestyle change was stopping being lazy. Um, and I'll still be lazy every day, but yeah, of course. Yeah. It, it's that weird feeling that there'll be times where I think, uh, and, and I, I still get it. I imagine you'll get it as well, where you're sat in your chair and you couldn't imagine getting up and going to the gym. Like you feel tired and you, yeah. you, you've had a long day and you could not imagine take, like going out and walking 5,000 steps. But from going to being, not being able to imagine to doing it to actually doing it and taking that step to actually get up and go and do it is probably been the best part about it. And, and it really is life changing, to be honest. Yeah. I think diet is the biggest, um, it's, it's so much more than the exercises you can exercise all you want, but if you still eat like crap, you're, you're going to gain, you're going to gain the weight and you're going to be unhealthy. I had yeah. a similar, maybe not as, as much cause I've been playing football or soccer my whole life. Um, but in college or university, the food is not great and you go out and you drink every weekend. And so I I'd put on some weight and once I cut out some of, some of that food, the weight just came off. I like, I noticed that I was feeling like I had a lot more energy and, it was easier to get up in the morning and go do things. I don't know if you've also noticed that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the main thing is, is, you know, um, replacing, for example, instead of going having KFC, cook some chicken breast, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and have it with the, like, I'll have a meal that's like 500 calories. That is three times as much food as 500 calories of McDonald's would be. Yeah. Um, you know, so like, that's been the main thing, just mixing a protein source with a carb source and having, having some proper food as opposed to, to getting a pizza or to, to eating some trashy food that, that is just absolutely terrible for you. And it, I, you know, two or three days of eating clean, you fit, literally feel clean. Your body feels mm -hmm. clean. It, it feels like you're, at, you're, you're, you know, you, you're, putting good stuff into your body you're actually fueling yourself so and it helps definitely with energy 100 yeah. percent. The, the you have way more energy every yeah. single day the other thing i've noticed as well is i've been eating like like you said like the chicken and uh, like proper food for long enough now that when i go back and i eat something that's not like fast food my body is like what did you just put into my yeah. into me right now yeah. get it out and you just i feel horrible for like the next like couple hours or day or so. Um, mm -hmm. And it's it kind of just your body's telling you like all the stuff that you were eating before, like not good, not good at all. 